Now in this question we have to expand 8 minus 3x to the power 3rd using the binomial expansion up to the term in x cubed. So if you've forgotten the binomial expansion here it is okay 1 plus a to the power n is identical to 1 plus n a plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times a squared plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 a cubed over 3 factorial and so on. So when I look at this the first thing I notice though is that I've got an 8 here and to use the formula you've got to start with a 1. So to get around this problem what we need to do is say that this is identical to well we pull out an 8 out the front of a bracket okay and we need to create 8 minus 3x so 8 times 1 would give us the 8 and for the 3x we need to divide by 8 so that would be minus 3x over 8 or minus 3 eighths x. Remember that all of this is to the power of third so I can put this in square brackets and this is all to the power of third. Now when you've got a product of two or more uh, bits in here to a power this is exactly the same as each part to the power so that's 8 to the power third multiplied by 1 minus 3 eighths x also to the power of a third 8 to the third that's the cube root of 8 that is 2 so we have 2 there and this is now multiplied by the expansion of 1 minus 3 eighths x to the power third and this is in this particular format here we have the 1 and the a value what we're doing is adding minus 3 eighths x so a is minus 3 eighths x and n the power here is 1 third so put a square bracket there expect quite a long expansion so I'm going to write fairly small here so that I can hopefully get it in this space so we have the 1 okay so 1 plus the power n times the a value so that would be 1 third multiplied by the a value which is minus 3 eighths x minus 3 eighths x that's that term now we move on to the next term here so it is n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial so it's plus n which is 1 third times n minus 1 so we subtract 1 from the power here so that's minus 2 thirds now it's over 2 factorial I prefer actually to write 2 times 1 in situations like this rather than 2 factorial but that's up to you and then we have a squared so that will be minus 3 eighths x all squared so I put that in there minus 3 eighths x all squared then we have the next term the final term plus the power n which is 1 third multiplied by 1 less than that so that's minus 2 thirds and then again 1 less than the minus 2 thirds which is minus 5 thirds and that's all over 3 factorial or 3 times 2 times 1 and this is multiplied by a cubed a we know is minus 3 eighths x and that is all cubed and don't forget to put and so on on the end there just about squeeze that in plus and three dots all right so all I need to do now is just tidy this up I'll keep the two out the front here so we have one and then when we work this term out notice the threes cancel and you then end up with minus one eighth x this one here I can see that these two threes are repeated at the top here so they cancel with that okay and uh, this two here cancels with this two so what it leaves me with is just an x squared over 64 and I also need to check the sign I can see that minus is squared so that's a plus times this minus will be a minus so we've got minus x squared over 64 or 164th x squared. 
When you get a situation like this where you get a minus, then another minus, you can expect the next one to be a minus, all right? But you can check it anyway. All series will either go minus, 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 and so on, or plus, 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 and so on, or they'll oscillate plus, minus, plus, minus, or minus, plus, minus, plus, and so on. So if I got a plus next term, I would think I've got an error. All right, so it's a minus. You can check it through. It will be a minus. Work this out. You could cancel maybe. See that these threes here go out with the repeated three that you get from three cubed here. Also, this 2 cancels out with that 2, and so you can simplify this very easily. Anyway, when you work it out, you get minus 5 over 1536, and that will be x cubed, and then it would be minus, and so on. All we need to do now is just times through by the 2, and you get 2 minus 2 eighths, which is a quarter x, then you get 2 times minus 1 64th, which is minus 1 32nd x squared. And 2 times the last term becomes minus 5 over 768. And that would be x cubed and minus and so on. So even though they said go to the term in x cubed, make sure you've got this last bit on here. Okay. So that brings us to the end then of part A.